I was born in the U.S. Um, in New Jersey. My parents are from El Salvador. It was more my dad who took the decision. He was the first one to um, migrate to the U.S. And then after that, it was my mom who came. Um, and yeah, their purpose was to give uh, my siblings a better uh, a better life. About ten years ago, they were able to bring my siblings here to the U.S. They have their job. They've been working since they got here. Um, thank God now they have their um, children are in process of getting their green card. And um, and then in my case, well, I was on plan, so it just happened. And I'm basically the one who has the privilege of everything, you know, being born in a different environment than my uh, than my brothers and my sister. Um, I'm the one who was able to grow up with the care of my mom. My siblings, they grew up with my grandma. It was hard. Um, my mom left my brother when he was nine. My sister was, um, I think my sister was seven. And then my brother was like six months. So my youngest brother, he never, you know, he didn't meet, he didn't, um, he didn't know much about my mom. And, you know, six months, it's, you know, a baby needs a lot of care and stuff. I just know that it, it was hard for her, leaving her three kids behind. Like, you know, leaving your kids at a young age, it brings a lot of, like, kind of negative feelings. You know, like, the three of them have a little resentment against my mom. got here in DC in 2005 that year my mom she lost her um her work permit and we found this quote-unquote lawyer or like notary and he messed up everything he didn't know what he was doing and he ended up filing for deporta deportation for my mother and we didn't know until my mom she was scheduled to um show up at court and we didn't really know exactly what was going on until my mom went to an actual like um lawyer and she explained to my mother everything and she was like you're gonna be deported not unless you know we present evidence that you can't leave the country and stuff like that and all that was going on when i was in my junior or uh, going into my senior year and at that time my grades were terrible so they were like yeah we've seen a, a very uh, dramatic impact in Karen's grades you know um, she's a, a, a an A and B student and now she's you know a C in all her classes blah 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 and then I had to go to psychologists and had to say what a what, uh, how would this affect me or how is it affecting me and stuff like that. It was a long process. Um, you know, I was always worried like, oh my God, what if my mom gets called by a police officer, you know, because like for um, five years, I think, my mom didn't have her work permit, so she couldn't even have her license. And it's terrible. And then it got to the point where like, okay, well, if you, you need to get a lawyer. Um, this is your last chance. If not, you will be deported. I'm like, great. So what am I supposed to do now? Fly back to El Salvador? I've never been there. So I was like, uh, you know, very stressed, very worried. Um, and I couldn't really do much because I was only 17. But yeah, I've, I've, I've experienced that whole, like, oh, your mom's going to be deported. So, and it's not, it's not, it's terrible. And the money that you have to throw, throw out. Because my mom, how many times has she not? Um, every year she tried to apply again for her work permit. And it, will, it would always get denied. 
and that's like three hundred and eighty plus um fifty dollars from the notary to do the whole paper. Um and then just be denied at the end. And that happened so many times.